And you're meant to wake up with good, strong cortisol levels in the morning, somewhere between 6 and 8 a.m. But what happens if you don't? Well, if you don't, you're going to feel like a zombie. You're not going to have a lot of energy. You might even be a little bit more inflamed. You're going to have brain fog. You're going to feel like you're walking around like a zombie, right? So that's what happens if you don't wake up with cortisol in the morning. But then at night, your cortisol should be really low. But what if it's still high? Well, if it's still high at night, you're going to feel like you... Um, aren't ready to go to bed, that you can't turn your mind off, and that you've got a million things to do and you have the energy to do it, right? So that's that's cortisol dysregulation. Well, how does that affect overall weight loss? Well, here's the thing. When your stress levels are too high and your cortisol levels are too high, it's going to suppress thyroid. So your thyroid is a big part of your overall metabolism. And when you produce more stress neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and cortisol, right, catecholamines, what it's going to do is it's going to dysregulate two things. One, it's going to stop the production of essentially T4 to T3, right? So that's activated T3. And it's also going to convert more usable thyroid hormone to reverse T3. So the problem is most doctors will just keep giving you thyroid medication. That is not the answer, right? The answer is actually looking back towards the HPA axis, which affects the adrenals and stress and working on that as a underlying root cause. 